Look, the holiday season usually comes along with champagne toasts and alcoholic beverages with family and friends. But our sponsors at the Oregon Health Authority are starting their Rethink the Drink campaign. We all know the harms that alcohol addiction can have, but many of us may not realize all the other harms connected to excessive alcohol use. So here to give me more information and educate us on the topic is the director of the Oregon Health Authority's Public Health Division, Rachel Banks. Hi, Rachel. Thank Hi. you so much for being here. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Yeah. So, you know, some of us, or many of us, really uh, know someone struggling with alcohol addiction, and we might think, that's not my problem. That's, uh -huh. that's a problem that they have. But a lot of us don't really um, realize we may be drinking in excess also. Yeah, absolutely. And that's why we've launched the Rethink the Drink campaign to really raise that awareness, because many people don't realize, um, and for that's one in five Oregonians that are um, excessively drinking. So yeah. excessive drinking is for women like us, eight drinks a week or four or more drinks on one occasion. And for men that's um, 15 drinks a week or oh. five or more on one occasion. Okay. And you know, I never knew I was, you know, doing a little research before, <laughs> before we got here and breast cancer can be linked to excessive alcohol use in women. Uh, tell me a little bit about that. I never knew that. Yeah, breast cancer and a lot of other cancers um, for a, a number of reasons. Like alcohol is actually, a lot of people don't realize it's a carcinogen. It's a level one carcinogen. Um, and it does a couple of things to the body. It produces a chemical that damages our DNA, which then makes it harder for, um, to, for our cells to repair yeah. and causes harm. It, it uh, gets in the way of absorbing nutrients. And um, all of those things lead to a variety of cancers, including breast cancer, as well as liver and stroke and all of those things. And, and like you said, many people associate the harms of alcohol with alcohol addiction or alcohol use disorder or even drinking and driving, yeah. um, but not breast cancer. Right, because when, when I think about something like breast cancer, I just automatically think genetics and mm -hmm. you know, not really even diving too deep into what the, the root cause can be. And now having that information I think is so important and really gonna strike a chord with someone. So I'm glad we can talk about that. But you guys also launched the Rethink the Drink campaign. It was over the summer. so. Can you tell me how is that going? What's that all about? Yeah, it's going great. Big shout out to all the people who made that happen at the Oregon Health Authority. Um, we've had over a million different views and we're gonna be relaunching um, a, more campaign materials with the holidays and the new year. Uh, wanna encourage folks to go check out Rethink the Drink and ha there's a lot of great tips on how to reduce um, or even just count the drinks mm -hmm. that we're having. Yeah. Absolutely. Can you tell us where we might be able to go for more information, like how people can take that first step to to, you know, reaching out to you guys? Yeah, definitely Google and rethink the drink. We have an Instagram, Facebook page as well. You can go to the Oregon Health Authority site um, to get more information. And do you have any, because I, I really want to give people out there, you know, after talking about so, so many deep, you know, topics, some kind of success story or anything that you've seen personally working, doing this work where people kind of come out on the other side or learn that information and say, okay, maybe I need to reassess. Yeah, I think so many things when we think about even taking stock and knowing what harm is, right? And then, you know, it's like with <laughs> me and doing an app of like, oh, that's what I ate today, <laughs> you know? <laughs> right. And so I think there's everyday success stories that people can have even in just understanding, setting limits um, or, you know, I think about with women, especially going out and it's, it was always like happy hour. Yeah. Um, and the brunch with the girls. Uh -huh. <laughs> I know my daughter goes, why do they call it happy hour? I'm like cheaper drinks, <laughs> cheaper food and kids aren't allowed. Um, that's why moms love right. happy hour, right? But in, you know, thinking about other activities with your girlfriends, taking yeah. hikes or walks in this beautiful city and state. So those are all like everyday success stories of yeah. people just making small moderations. Yeah, it's all about the awareness. And I yeah. thank you so much for the work that you you guys are doing and thank you for being here yeah it's a pleasure thank yeah. you you guys you got to go check out our sponsors uh you guys visit that website learn more educate yourself and reassess yourself you know get educated guys <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> yeah, for being here you. rachel